Layton, in our first story, teaching soil and water conservation to the young. Many children grow up having never planted a garden or perhaps realizing that food is grown in the ground and not a store. Trying to combat this lack of knowledge, the Lamar County Soil and Water Conservation District developed what it calls Go Gardens. The Go Gardens have succeeded beyond everyone's expectations and they can be found everywhere from first grade classrooms to nursing homes. There you go. Good job. You must help mom in the garden. It's simple in design, but the Go Garden is having a big effect on Leslie Barger's kindergartners and first graders. The Oak Grove Primary School teacher admits she knew little about gardening when she received her Go Garden, but now she can't imagine teaching without it. It is math, it is science, it is social studies. You can talk about what different people grow in different countries, um, what's native to our area. It's, it's language arts. When we deliver these things, they are ready for the kids to go garden, so to speak. They are set up with the soils and the containers, the structures themselves, and everything's ready to start. The Go Garden is the inspiration of the Lamar County, Mississippi Soil and Water Conservation District and its manager, John Monroe. The district wanted to find a way to introduce the county's first graders to conservation principles. Monroe says there's no wrong way to make a go garden. The districts consists of a frame about eight feet tall with a bench at the bottom to hold three containers. Net wire is attached to the upper part of the frame for vines and other tall plants to grow on. The students plant their seeds or transplants in the potting soil in the containers. It sounds simple, but Barger says that the go garden and the nearby flower beds create an excitement for learning that no picture in a book can match. The students have even eaten the produce okay, they've grown. Literally in 20 minutes, put it, brought it in, set it down, filled it up, did a presentation, and the kids were planting their plants. Um, and, and from that, we had three fabulous cabbage that we got to cook and eat in the classroom. More and more uh, that you talk to the children today, they really don't know where uh, some of our agriculture comes from. You know, the grocery store, we, we get a lot of stuff from our grocery store. So this really teaches them where uh, food comes from and teaches them um, about soil and, and water and how things grow and, and how the process works and how we harvest our food. Uh, and, it, and it teaches them that we must be uh, stewards of our resource so that we can continue to have our food resources. We can continue to have uh, wildlife resources. Before the Go Garden, Barger had already seen what simply having her students outdoors could accomplish. Since her classroom is on the edge of the campus, she had created an outdoor book nook under some overhanging vines. Being outdoors helped one of her students have more confidence in the classroom and we cut a hole and we would go inside there and sit and read and it gave him that secure feeling of what he was comfortable with at home and it really opened him up and brought him into the classroom. Barger uses the go garden and the accompanying flower beds in every part of her kindergarten and first grade curriculums. There's recognizing patterns, math, and teaching new vocabulary words. There's also science and social studies as students learn about native plants and how people depend on them. There are animals, frogs, and insects to find, photograph, and identify. Barger says all these items can be learned from books, but her students are energized when it happens in their garden. We've had a wonderful experience with the caterpillars to be able to not just look at the life cycle of, the, of a butterfly in a book, but to be able to come out here and to pick up the caterpillars and to watch them as they put them right up in the front of their eyes and as they you know, look and they examine it all the way to watching the chrysalis, watching them come out, and then releasing them into the garden. Go gardening is also high tech. Larger students take electronic photographs, they post these pictures and blog about the happenings in their garden area on their website. A rabbit sometimes visits the garden area. It's another opportunity for learning and excitement. Other classrooms at Oak Grove Primary School plant what are called shape gardens. These are raised bed gardens fashioned in various geometric shapes. And that consists of right now four boxes, each a different geometric shape that I adopt out to other classrooms. And so they'll keep it for a growing season. Uh, they might plant vegetables, they might plant flowers, that's up to them. 
and uh, they will tend to it for a growing season and then we will till it up and we will give it to an, adopt it out to another class. The effects of the Lamar County Soil and Water Conservation District's Go Garden program are reaching beyond the classroom. Pine Belt Industries, a division of Pine Belt Mental Health Care Resources, is constructing Go Garden stands. This Pine Belt division teaches job skills to its clients with developmental disabilities. We're trying to take these individuals and teach them uh, social and vocational skills. Teaching them the skills that they need or that's required of them uh, out in the workforce. It steers us away a little bit from things that we're uh, constantly making and it shows them something new and therefore they're having to use different types of tools, uh, giving them different instructions. Pine Belt Industries can also customize the go gardens by varying the bench height or placing rollers on the legs. Oh, it gives them a sense of pride and uh, ha has something that they can take care of personally. It's just, uh, it's just something with working with your hands. An unforeseen target group for Go Gardens has turned out to be nursing homes and assisted living centers. Once again, the center's residents feel the same sense of ownership experienced by Lamar County first graders. The Oxford Health and Rehabilitation Center of Lumberton, Mississippi, already has a garden out back of the center, but it's inaccessible to residents in wheelchairs or those who can't be allowed outside the building. For residents who are not able to necessarily get up and do the things that they weren't once were able to do, being able to come out here and garden and water and prune and do everything that goes into gardening, um, it is going to be a sense of me. Look what I've done. In this case, the Go Garden's height is adjusted for wheelchairs. It's placed in an enclosed courtyard next to a concrete walkway so it's accessible to all the residents. These pictures were taken a few weeks after the initial planting. It shows the Oxford Center's residents' gardening skills are still sharp. We thought it would be just kind of a local school thing and we've now expanded it to the nursing homes, which I think is probably going to be where it takes off from um, from now on is probably the biggest portion of growth that we'll see. John Monroe says the Lamar County Soil and Water Conservation District is willing to share its Go Garden program and stand design with anyone. It's already attracted a lot of attention from outside Mississippi. We've had requests for designs from as far away as Minnesota. Uh, We've gotten requests from North Carolina, Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee. Uh, the designs have gone statewide. We know people who are writing grant proposals to put these things in county schools, uh, assisted living facilities, and uh, we're, just, we're just thankful that it has done as well as it has. The garden gives them a sense of re responsibility. It, it makes it belong, it's something that belongs to them. It's something that they care for, it's living, it's breathing, and that in itself lends itself to so many other things that they have to deal with, helping with brothers and sisters, helping a friend, um, taking care of the world in general. You know, the environment is such a focal point right now. And as we talk about conservationism in the garden, they are so eager to make other things better. Well, you can watch this story on Go Gardens again on our Farm Week website. That's our Facebook page or our YouTube page. We'll also have the contact information on these sites so you can get in touch with John Monroe and you can get copies of the plans. They're not looking to make money off these. They just want to get the word out. The website address is farmweek.msucares.com. Find us on Facebook and give us a click on that like button if you feel so inclined. And we appreciate <laughs> those of you who have done that already. And late, you know, this story aired originally back in 2009. It's simple in concept, but, but profound because for the kids, they have not experienced this. And for them to actually see something that they've planted and taken care of and then actually eat it, that is something that they don't get to experience because so many grow up in uh, apartment buildings and such as that. They're just, they're urban and they don't have that chance. So Leslie Barger has really just taken this and, and run with it. She's but just, you also see with these other groups that the many other purposes a garden can serve. Once again, uh, what great therapy there at that nursing home.